so today I'm going to be having a look at the sign rule. Now, what you need to know about the sign rule is that lowercase letters are sides and uppercase letters are angles. The same letter is directly opposite each other. Now, for example, if this is angle A, this will be side A. If this is angle B, this will be side B. Okay, it doesn't really matter which one is A, which one is B, as long as A and B are directly opposite each other. Now, the formula for missing side is A divided by sine A is equal to B divided by sine B. And the formula for missing angle is sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. Okay, so these are the only formulas you need to know. Just to know that when it's the formula for missing side, the lowercase is at the top. And when it's the formula for missing angles, the sine A and the sine B are on the top. Now let's go through some examples of missing side, missing sides in a triangle. So because I have a missing side, first I will label the any angle capital A, the side opposite lowercase a. This angle B, the side directly opposite lowercase b. You have to be very careful that the angle is completely and directly opposite. If it's not, then you need to work out the angle that's directly opposite and you already know angles in a triangle add to 180. Okay, we these two are already given to us that are opposite each other. We're going to write down A over sine A is equal to B over sine B. Lowercase b over sine b. And we're going to substitute our values into this equation. So... A is x, sine A would be sine 38, is equal to B, which is 13 over sine 100. Now, to work out the value of x, I just simply rearrange the formula and I multiply by sine 38 on both sides. So x is equal to 13 over sine 100 multiplied by sine 38, which is all you need to plug into your calculator. Be very careful that you close the brackets of 138 after the sign, okay? So in your calculator, plug in 13 divided by sine 100 multiplied by sine 38. And remember, the sine 38 is multiplying with the entire fraction. It shouldn't be at the bottom of the fraction. It should look completely like this. Once you plug it into your calculator, you're going to get your answer of x is equal to 8.1 centimeters to one decimal place. Okay, now let's have a go with the other example. So I label this capital A, lowercase a, capital B, lowercase b. And I write down my formula, a over sine a is equal to b over sine b. I substitute in my values. I substitute my values from the triangle into this equation. And I write down a over sine 42 is equal to 5 over sine 53. Now, to work out the value of x, I'm going to rearrange the formula, or a. I'm going to rearrange the formula, and I'm going to multiply by sine 42 on both sides. So, x is equal to 5 over sine 53 multiplied by sine 42. Okay, and remember the multiplied by sine 42 is not even going to be at the bottom of the fraction. It's going to be completely separate. It should look completely like this in your calculator. Once you put it into your calculator, you should get x is equal to 4.19 to 3 significant figures. 4.19 centimeters to 3 significant figures. Now we're going to move on and we're going to have a look at missing angles when it comes to the sine rule. Okay? So our formula is just slightly different. It's going to be sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. And I'm going to substitute in my values. So A, A, B, B. Sine X over 5.4 is equal to sine 95 over 6.7. Now, exactly like missing side, I rearranged the formula multiplied by 5.4 both sides. So sine x equals to sine 95 over 6.7 multiplied by 5.4. But there's a big difference here. When I'm working out missing angle, I have to do shift sign in my calculator. Okay, so I'm going to do shift sign, sine 95 divided by 6.7 multiplied by 5.4. Make sure the multiplied by 5.4 is completely separate to the fraction. Once I plug this into my calculator... I should get 53.4 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the other question. Sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. 
A, A, B, B. I substitute in my values into this equation and I write down sine 60 over 15 is equal to sine x over 10. Now to work out the value of sine x, I'm going to multiply by 10 on both sides. So sine 60 over 15 multiplied by 10 is equal to sine x. Again, because we're doing um, missing angle, we're going to do shift sign in our calculator. So I'm going to do shift sign, sine 60 divided by 15 multiplied by 10 on both sides. Plug that into my calculator and I should get x is equal to 35.3 degrees to one decimal place. Okay, so your formulas for missing side is a over sine a equals to b over sine b and missing angle is sine a over a is equal to sine b over b. This is how to substitute in values when you're working out missing side. And this is how to substitute in values when you're working out a missing angle. Thank you.